script. Um, there's conflict, scripts are about conflict, otherwise there's no story. So having said all I've said, um, I think we, a lot of times we find ourselves in situations where the drama on set or inside you is bigger than in the film. Um, why is that? I think that is because um, on set and in and, and the environment around creating a film, you are you with everything. With all your fears and all your hopes and all the things you can do and all the things you can't do. And um, I think a lot of times we want to present a better me in the film. Like I said earlier on, a little, it should be a little different from, from the world. I think that's just, I think it's okay to do that. As long as you don't, how can I say, with all this conflict stuff I've been talking about, I try to encourage you to explore that. Um, okay, I'll tell you something personal. Um, my parents were not very reliable. Um, they're great in their way, but they weren't very reliable. Um, I want to be reliable. And I want, I, want, I want to create a system that's reliable. But it also, I can be... Let's put it this way, also with my friend that I talked about early on, it's like my deal a lot of times is I give everything I got, I want everything. That's the deal. And if I'm not getting this deal, I'm going to be angry and I'm going to think something's not right. Um, it does help if you know that about yourself. It does help. You need to find the spot where you're hurt easy. My spot probably is authority. And, and if authority, if they say something and it's not right, I hate that. Um, other people have other spots, but learn about that. It will always, when you hit on that spot, on that weak spot, it will always hurt like, like hell. And you probably will always slap somebody, just out of reflex. <coughs> but the big difference will not be that you relearn that, that you erase that. The problem, the, 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 the thing is that you learn that. And if you know that about yourself, it's gonna, um, the time that you're gonna be angry is gonna be shorter. It's not gonna take you two days. You're not gonna be angry for two days. You're gonna be angry, you're gonna minimize that. You're gonna be, I think I'm about down to two hours, which is, you know, but that's good. That, you know, two hours is probably within the same day I can, I can go up and say something. Talking about going up and saying something. I was in the U.S. once, and uh, I, I met a guy. He wasn't a friend. He was a friend of him, whatever. He was a quarterback. I thought, cool, man. <laughs> he said something that really impressed me. That stuck with me. I said, so how do you do that? It's like, you know, all these guys. and You know, he's not the biggest. He's just the best, whatever. I don't know enough about football. And he said, he, one thing he said is, don't say sorry. I was like, what? That's kind of asshole not to say sorry. But it stuck with me and I thought, hmm, maybe he's right. And I'm not saying don't say sorry as in, no, you say sorry in your private life with your friend and in your relationship and within your family. But that is not the set. The set is a different environment. It's okay, no, no, it's not okay. It's not a family, it's a team. It's not a happy family or whatever family. It is just not family. And your responsibility is to get that ship across the big sea. And that is what the crew expects from you. They want you to make the right choices. They don't need you to be the most friendliest person they ever met. I'm, again, I'm saying, don't get me wrong, I, I, I hate the asshole style. 
What you can do if you said something wrong or did something wrong, I believe, is um, you can do it non-verbal. Just be friendly with the person again. Let them feel this, that this relationship with you and him and her or whatever is not shattered. It's just, you just continue. You had this conflict. You said what, what needed to be said. You need to get over that as soon as possible. This is not going to ruin your shoot. This is not going to ruin your project. This is not about perfect. This, there was a little conflict. It's the most normal thing in the world. Get over it. Or if this happens again and again and again and the person doesn't react to you saying that, you know, we go to that fire. <laughs> but again, very careful about that. I'm saying all this because I believe that a team is very smart. Maybe not each one of them, but all together they understand what's going on. And you need to be in a good place with that. And you need, don't waste your time running around trying to create a family. This is not the place for that. Okay, again, I'm trying to talk about the filmmaking, <laughs> the script. Um, I heard something that I really liked, and um, it, it, uh, somewhere I picked it up, and I really liked it. it said, somebody said, it's a, film, a film is not about entertaining. It's not really about emotions, really. The core part of making a, a, what a film is really about is about healing. Kind of hippie-ish, <laughs> but maybe true. Um, so this, so the hero is what we call the hero. So this guy or this girl or this woman or this kid. They have a problem. They have a conflict. And then something's ha something's happening. They overcome it. They learn something, or they don't. Don't underestimate that they don't. Great, 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 great films have been made. The Godfather, Michael Corleone, he didn't learn anything. Great film. No bullshit. But after, it's still about healing and it doesn't work. Maybe you can say Michael Corleone tried to be healed or tried to do the right thing and it just didn't work. In order for it to go into the healing process, you got to bring on the pain. There's no film about pain. There's no film about fear. And um, who brings that on in a very simple setup? It's the bad guy. The asshole. He's a very important character. Can be a thing. You know how it is. It's, it, 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 I don't, I'm, not, I'm not trying to talk you into any genre, Sydney field. Simple setup. I'm just saying that most of the time there is somebody that is against the hero. Maybe it's a situation. Maybe it's, it can be a lot of things. It can be the weather. Um, the bad guy is the most important person for our main guy. Is the bad guy is the only chance for our person to heal. He's the most. He's the biggest ally. Because he is challenging him. And without, he's bringing on the pain and the fear and the wrongdoing. And without that, our hero will not have a chance to overcome that. So the bad guy is a good guy. He's a challenger. And um, again, it's, it's, we can go right back to the first story I told you. My friend turned into a bad guy. But there's one big difference in, in films. There's the bad guy. I'm, I'm using really archaic terms here, but you're, you're used to that. You know, it's, it's, there's also a demon, the real monster. The real monster is in the guy. That is what is fucking him up. And the bad guy knows just what buttons to push for that to happen. He has information about him or more power or whatever, whatever it takes. So for our hero to really learn something or be healed or go to the next place, these buttons are being pushed and he is charging in. Michael Corleone is ready to kill somebody. He, at the beginning he says, this is my family, has nothing to do with me. Life is pushing his buttons. 
and he becomes a killer. So the real problem and the real enemy of our main guy is the demon that's inside of him that comes out if certain buttons are being pushed. Now, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. It happens to you too. Don't get carried away with bad people and bad setups. Focus more on what can you do because I think the most horrible thing that can happen to us as filmmakers but also as just people is that we think we're powerless. There's nothing I can do. There's just nothing I can do. Yes, there's a lot you can do. You can give it away on the bad guy, which bad films do too. They just say, we just need to kill that guy. Boom. Yeah. Well, okay, that feels good sometimes. If you have a real, real bad guy, that feels pretty good. But then again, to have a real, real bad guy, he can't just be done. So then you're in it again. I encourage you to explore that. You don't only need a set, you need to understand more what you're made of. And the most important thing, don't be ashamed of that. You can be ashamed of that, but then the shame is okay. You don't need to become perfect to tell stories. It's the very, it's, a ve it's the opposite. You need to be moving closer in of what you're afraid of and what you're ashamed of.